This video is news videos of the Jonathan Lewis case and the awareness that this story needs to bring of the bullying and violence in our country and how things really need to change. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, eight suspects in custody for the murder of Jonathan Lewis and those eight suspects will be charged with the crime of murder. Our work in this investigation is far from over and we need all of your help as we continue with this investigation. And the reason I say that is many of you and many people in the community have seen the violent video that has circulated throughout our community via social media. And if you or your child or somebody you know has seen that video and recognizes anybody that may have been a participant in this senseless crime, you need to get a hold of us and our homicide section, like I said earlier, as we further our investigation. to all of us to have those difficult conversations with our children and remind them that their actions have consequences. Their actions have lasting consequences. Their actions have life-altering consequences. Eight Rancho High School students arrested for the murder of their classmate. Two more are still wanted by police. Fox News Kim Passoff is back at Rancho High School tonight near where the off-campus fight happened. She joins us live now with the latest from police. Yeah, last night we were here and we brought you that emotional interview with the father of the teen who lost his life after that brutal attack just off of school campus earlier this month. Today, Metro announced that there was a joint operation with the FBI this morning, serving nine search warrants, taking phones and clothes, as well as eight teens into custody. I'm here today to announce that we have eight suspects in custody for the murder of Jonathan Lewis. Nearly two weeks after the brutal attack on 17-year-old Jonathan Lewis, classmates at Rancho High School ages 17 to just 13 years old were taken into custody. After the fight occurred, he was laying unconscious and unresponsive in the back alley, and a citizen nearby saw him, uh, began attending to him, and carried him back to Rancho High School, which is what prompted the initial 911 phone calls. The fight happened right after school on November 1st. It is directly east of Rancho High School. Investigators say it was over a pair of stolen wireless headphones and possibly a marijuana vape pen. The 17-year-old victim stepping in to defend a smaller student. And the minute the punch is thrown with that person, uh, 10 subjects immediately swarm him, put him into the ground and begin kicking, punching and stomping on him, not defending himself into the point where he becomes unconscious. Investigators say though the students were different races, there is no evidence this was a hate crime. If this was a hate crime, there would be someone getting arrested for charges related to it being hate crime. Monday, Fox 5 spoke with Lewis's dad, who says that justice will take much more than just the arrests of the attackers. Justice is, is a deep, deep thing for me, and there's a lot more to it than, these, than just these kids going to prison. Justice to me is, what, what is the community going to do about this? You know, what are, when, when are people going to wake up and start having some compassion for one another and have some empathy and actually have a sense of community and actually work towards real solutions that for these children that are just going absolutely mad. And police say that their investigation is far from over. They plan on releasing pictures of two more teens who they say were involved in the attack. Those pictures should be coming out shortly. As for, they're asking for witnesses to come forward, anyone who may have seen anything, anyone with video, even if you think that they may have seen it, they are asking you to submit it so they can continue to build this case. As for these eight teens who are already in custody, those 13 to 17 year olds, they are in juvenile hall tonight. It will be up to the district attorney whether or not they will be charged as adults. Reporting live tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. On November 7th, Jonathan Lewis was declared brain dead and became an organ donor. You can find a link to a GoFundMe account for his family and final expenses. It's on Fox5Vegas.com.
A heartbroken father shares his outrage. Tonight, in a one on one interview, the dad of this Rancho High School student, beaten to death allegedly by his own classmates, shares what his family is going through and the justice they're seeking as no arrests have been made so far. Fox News' Kim Passoff joins us live now near the school with the latest from the family. Jonathan Lewis gave his son the same name, never imagining that he would outlive him. But the 17-year-old's life was cut short after school one day earlier this month. His father has seen a viral video that Fox 5 will not be showing, showing that beating allegedly at the hands of fellow students. Yeah, I saw a couple of seconds of this video on accident, and these kids are just like, it's just like lunacy. I can't even just imagine what's how it ever even comes to this. Jonathan Lewis says his family is still in shock, trying to process 17 year old Jonathan, an aspiring artist with a huge heart, is gone. Jonathan was an incredibly loving and caring young man. I was just looking through my text messages with him the last couple of day days before, and I'm just so grateful that I just to tell him I love him. He says his son died a hero, standing up for a smaller student at Rancho High School in a fight over AirPods. Then a group of 15 students turned on him. Jonathan was left fighting for his life. Jonathan's mother and I just sat there and hold, held our son's hand for uh, days and nights and, and just hoping and praying that, you know, that he could recover. But that is not what happened. Days after the brutal attack, Jonathan died at UMC. His father was by his side before he was taken off life support just like shaking for hours when I, I could barely even walk or could barely even get to my car. Police told Lewis there may be a resolution soon, but he says it will take much more than arrests to heal his broken heart. So justice is, is a deep, deep thing for me, and there's a lot more to it than, these, than just these kids going to prison. This to me, is what, what, what is the community going to do about this? You know, what are, when, when are people going to wake up and start having some compassion for one another and have some empathy and actually have a sense of community and actually work towards real solutions that for these children that are just going absolutely mad. And today, CCSD sent Fox 5 a statement saying in part, quote, all of CCSD grieves the loss of every student. While we cannot provide additional information, as this is an active police investigation, please know that district leadership and school police are working with Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department and the district attorney's office so the individuals involved are held accountable. Jonathan's family has set up a GoFundMe account to pay for his final expenses. You can find a link to that on our website, fox5vegas.com. Reporting live, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News. This video was to raise awareness of the senseless acts of violence and bullying that is going on in our country and how things really need to change. People need to get a grip. And uh, the parents have started a foundation slash movement website, and I will leave the link in my description. I hope this opens some people's eyes.